Epiphone has been at the forefront of musical instrument design since 1873. With this collection, we celebrate 150 years of Epiphone, highlighting classics of the mid-century early electric era. With Epiphone, you get quality at a friendly price point, something that's always been super important to us as well as to all of you out there. Let's take a quick look at the four limited edition guitars that share the spotlight here in this video. The all new Crestwood Custom, the Wilshire, Sheraton, and the ultimate jazz box unveiling the Zephyr Deluxe region. These models all celebrate Epiphone's legacy and influence on countless musicians across all genres and generations. But real quick before we dive in, make sure you hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe to our channel. First up is the Anniversary Edition Crestwood Custom in this awesome California coral finish. Check that out. first appeared in 1958. It was Epiphone's first solid body to pick up electric. The body here is asymmetrical, solid mahogany, nice and thin. Got the little contour on the back there. Double cutaway, so there's easier access to higher frets and notes. You've got a mahogany neck. That's gonna be the 60s Slim Taper D profile. Real comfy, easy to navigate up and down. Indian Laurel fretboard. Uh, the nice oval inlays here. And this is where we bring back the classic Batwing headstock. On the back, you do get that nice Epiphone 150th logo, Wilkinson tuners, really cool guitar. Let's check it out. Okay, here's the neck pickup. I'll be playing through a Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50 behind me on the clean channel. Here's the middle. And then onto the bridge. Great little guitar. You can really hear the chime and the beefiness on those Gibson USA mini humbuckers. A lot of this stuff is gonna be inspired from the custom shop as well. So you're gonna get the USA pickups, CTS pots, and you're gonna have a Switchcraft three-way toggle, as well as an output jack. What's nice is you've got the two tones and two volumes here for blending and using your volumes to your advantage. Tremolo uh, system provided, as we've got the Tremotone vibrato tailpiece. And as you can hear, accuracy was there, stayed in tune great, and it also includes a hard shell case. Let's hear a little bit more. So yeah, you know, I would say this is a fantastic guitar uh, for someone that's got a smaller frame, smaller hands. As you can tell, it packs a punch. Really great for, I would say, more of the shoegaze, indie, um, surf, surf rock. Of course, not limited to rock itself, thanks to those mini hums. Just a great guitar to just go outside the box here. And it's just nice to see something exclusive that only happens in the uh, Epiphone world here. Next up is the Anniversary Wilshire in Pacific Blue. Again, another great smaller uh, size guitar, great for smaller frames, smaller hands. This model a little bit different than the Crestwood. As you can see, there's no tremolo tone here. It's just gonna be a, a stop bar tailpiece and a, a tunematic. First introduced 1959, one of our most successful models. The Anniversary Edition also has this asymmetrical solid mahogany body. Double cutaway, of course, for higher access to notes. Nice slim 60s D profile neck here, Indian laurel board, dot inlays this time, bringing back the Batwing headstock, 
And then on the back, you'll see that 150th logo there, exclusive with the Wilkinson tuners. Let's give it a spin. Here's the neck pickup. Very nice, on to the middle. Finally, over to the bridge. Very nice indeed. You know, straight ahead design here without the tremolo tone. Just great for a bunch of different styles. Indie shoegaze comes to mind, also pushing into rock territory as well. You're hearing again the Gibson USA mini humbuckers. Very nice sounding, little leaner than a regular humbucker, but still has the punch. Premium electronics, we've got CTS pots, better taper on that, okay? So you're gonna be getting a more accurate response when you're rolling up and down on those pots. You've got the Switchcraft three-way toggle, output jack. These also come with a hard shell case. Very nice guitar indeed. Let's hear a little bit more. I love this and the Crestwood. They're smaller guitars. They're really easy to navigate. Great for a smaller frame, for smaller hands. They pack that punch with the uh, Gibson USA Mini Hums. I like having the uh, two tones, two volumes. Hold it up to a, a regular humbucker guitar. It'll definitely stand up in its own way. Killer little guitar. Moving on to the Sheraton. 150th edition in Cherry. Beautiful regal looking guitar. A classic staple from our semi hollow body offerings. In celebration of the 150th, this model gets a layered maple body with the center block on this one. So that's gonna help with taming down the feedback. One piece mahogany neck, bound fretboard. And if you look closely, you'll see those mother of pearl and abalone inlays there, as well as on the headstock. You get the Epiphone and the Tree of Life here, prominent in mother of pearl, shown nice on the front of the headstock here. Let's take a quick listen. Let's start with the neck pickup. Moving on to the middle. Finally, onto the bridge. Really nice guitar, deep sounding. That's gonna be thanks to those Gibson USA Mini Humbuckers. Premium electronics on this one, of course. We've got the uh, Switchcraft three-way toggle, output jack, four controls. And we've got CTS pots and orange drops in there. So two tones, two volumes. That's gonna help with your tone shaping there. On the back of the headstock, you've got Grover Rotomatic tuners, Epiphone 150th logo on the back. And this model is also going to include a hard shell case. Let's hear a little bit more.
This is a great guitar for jazz, for blues rock, for rock. It's nice to see a Sheraton now with the Tremotone vibrato system. That's gonna be an added bonus there for even covering more ground with this one guitar. Really nice to add uh, to any collection out there. Finally, we are on the Zephyr Deluxe Regent Aged Antique Natural. Awesome jazz box style guitar, originally produced from 1948 until 1957, one of the major arch top guitar designs. For the 150th, we're proud to bring this model back, of course, with all the inspiration from the classic vintage collectible originals, perfect for jazz, blues, rockabilly, with some updates, of course, to meet the needs of the modern player of today. So this model is gonna feature a full hollow body design. We've got the multi-layer pressed maple arch top, deep cutaway here, to get to those higher notes easily. Five piece maple and mahogany medium C neck, really nice. And on the back of the headstock, you can see that Epiphone 150th exclusive logo with the Epiphone historic machine heads. On the front, you've got an ebony fretboard and an ebony bridge here. Let's check it out. To start with the neck pickup. to the middle. And finally to the bridge. Warm, smoky, and smooth tones thanks to those Epiphone New York mini humbuckers. Really classic jazz tones in there as well. You're gonna have premium electronics on this model, so of course you're gonna get the CTS Pots, Switchcraft three-way toggle up here with the rubber grommet, and you're gonna have an output jack, which is Switchcraft as well. These also come with the hard shell case. Let's hear a little bit more. What a fantastic jazz box style guitar. Really great to see this come to life again. It's just great for those jazz, R&B, soul, rhythm tones, really smoky and dark, but the tone knobs give you enough to work with to go from smoky to a little bit cleaner sounds. Great for rockabilly, blues, all that good stuff. If it's something that's on your radar for those styles or if it's something new to you, this would be the way to go. Super lightweight and easy to navigate. What a great guitar indeed. And the flexibility here with the two tones and the two volumes, you can't go wrong. You can always visit our website for more information, specs, pricing, and availability on any of these guitars. We're also going to drop the links to each one in the description below. And if you're looking for something else different, maybe you're looking for a Les Paul or an SG, check out our buyer's guides that are featured on the Gibson Gear Guide. Thanks for watching.